you are just the number. It's difficult for me to know what what ex, ex, other than the Ojokoro that you mentioned there. Um, At Iju Ishaga in Lagos, it's 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 highly unlikely that 2011 cards are not there. Highly now, unlikely. Hold on. Adewale Balogun, who's a pastor, says, mm -hmm. I have a temporary voter's card with which I voted in 2011. I can't vote now because INEC has lost my name in their database and I'm too old to fight a rowdy fight. No, but we've explained that. There's no name that is lost. We did say if you, you may have registered, and that, that might also apply to the first uh, mail. If you, you were registered in 2011, if your fingerprints were not captured, you were required to come out for the continuous voter registration. And thankfully, we have very notable examples of that. So anyone who did not have his fingerprints captured, even though he has a temporary voter card and voted in 2011, and did not come out for continuous voter registration, cannot be accusing Nainek of having disenfranchised him or her. Because the requirement was that once you checked and your name is not there, don't bother to expect a permanent voter cards. Just come for the continuous voter registration, get registered again, and you will get your card. And the notable personalities that that affected here in Lagos, in Sokoto, they've gotten their cards. So these are, these are procedural issues. Okay, what about those, the issue, there are those who are having questions, I'll, I'll stay with you, Mr. Edo, who are having questions about their permanent voters' cards that were, that were collected on their behalf. I mean, they, they've gone to the polling unit to, to collect them or to where, where they are being distributed to collect their permanent voters' cards. And they get they say, sorry, your card has been collected and it has been signed for. And he looks at it and doesn't find that he was the one that collected it. How, do, how would those people vote? What will happen to them? There's a challenge there because, you see, number one, collection by proxy is off the books as far as the next procedures are concerned. So how do, you, how do you account, I'm sorry to cut you here, but how do you account for those who had to collect theirs by proxy, for instance, in the north, in the northern part of the country? That, that claim is anecdotal. You see, again, anecdotal? it's anecdotal. We had someone in our studios this morning who said, his own card and that of his wife was brought in by a little girl after he had threatened INEC that he was going to report them to Abuja. No, but he could have told us how did the little girl take possession of the card? Did he make reports of that? He knew that the rule was that no collection by proxy. And th this is not new. The commission disciplined some staff uh, about three weeks ago. And it was, it's in the public domain, not the one in Lagos that was done last week. Earlier on, about two or three weeks ago, the commission, and I think it's in one of the southwest states, and the sole reason why they had to be disciplined was because they issued some cards by proxy. So it's clearly off the rules to issue card by proxy. Now, for somebody to stay at the back end and say, I collected mine by proxy, even if that were true, he has, he has not contributed anything to the process because the issue is... If you see anything that violates the rule and you bring it up and see whether the commission will, will bring that. So when people said uh, in some areas of the country, uh, the commission is giving the cards to district to honestly, those are just anecdotal claims that have no business at all. Would they be deliberately lying against INEC? Is that what you're saying? No, you know, people make all manners of claims for all manners of gains, especially when politics is at stake. The person you are talking about who said he got ease, I would be interested to know what he did when somebody brought the card. Because the per he actually should also be interested in how the girl who brought that card uh, obtained the card. Mm -hmm. Just like I am interested, just like I know the annex leadership is, is interested. So, you see, if, if, if you have issues and you make these issues known as incident reports, the test of whether the commission endorses it or not is whether the commission will act on incident reports or not. But if you aid in perpetrating these things, if they happen, and you stay on the back end and turn it into an anecdote, it okay, so if, if, if you're sitting down and someone brings your card to you, then you should, insert, you should collect the card and then report it to INEC. Is that you what you're saying? You could, sure, you could, if that happened. Because, because it's curious how that could happen. 
There are those who have asked the question, how is it that INEC is able to distribute voters' cards more, I mean, have a higher level of distribution in the northern, not eastern part of the country than in the southern part where there's more security presence? Good question. But again, that also shows a lack of understanding of what is at play. I've, I've had that claim, mixed, that claim made over and over again. I have a table before me here of the distribution as at the 10th of, of February. Abia is not in the northeast. The collection rate was 79%. Aquaibom is not in the northeast. The collection rate is 84.44%. Cross River is not in the northeast. The collection rate is 73.13%. Ondo State is not in the northeast. The collection rate is 70.25%. Osho State is not in the northeast. The collection rate is 70.75%. River State is not in the northeast. The collection rate is 75.79%. What are we talking about? So, you see, it's easy for people. In any event, the commission does not have What's a regional template. The Lagos? The Lagos, Lagos collection rate as at 10th of, of, of February is 59.72%. So how is it that it's that? But I will come to that. That's the next point I'm making. You see, people also now look at these percentages in, 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 in isolation. Now, if you have a voter population of 1 million, registered population, and 800,000 people collect their cards. You have 80%, isn't it? But if you have a voter population of 5 million, even when 3 million people have collected their card, you still have barely 50%. So you are not looking at it in quantum terms. You are just looking at it. Many of these places where there, so you find popula voter population of 1, 1 million, 1.2 million, and you, you are looking at it in all oh, percentages. Again, well, it could be an oversight, but again, it could be part of the games being played. Because you don't look at the quantum time. The 59.7% I'm talking about as a detent is 3,527,159. And that's still 59%. I mean, that, yes, that's still 59%. Okay, thank you, Mr. Ado. We'll go another, take another break and when we'll come back, we'll continue. But just before we go, um, a clarification here from... Uh, Donio Cooper, uh, Donio Cooper says, I wish to confirm that given a little more time will afford INEC opportunity to perfect their preparations was in INEC chair's document. She said it was not there. Uh, Victor Uvede says, my center was canceled and every effort to get re-registered in December wasn't possible. And here I am not voting. Victor Uvede, we'll take another break. Coming back shortly, please join us again. <laughs>